I was asked to summarize Dr. Honecker's debriefing for you. He was assigned to Palace Station, a Wayland yutani research facility on the surface of LV-89. The Palace Station team developed weapons from Xenomorph XX-121. In particular, they explored the effects of a mutagenic agent. Xenomorphs and other test subjects were loosed by a containment breach. The majority of the staff perished. Unclear. Small amounts were delivered by the company. The science team was not told its origin. They referred to it as pathogen. As biogenetics is not Dr. Honecker's specialty, he is unable to provide details. No, his degree is in archaeology. He claims he was lured here by the promise of access to alien artifacts. Pardon. To be clear, I refer to artifacts from a technologically advanced alien civilization, not xenomorphs. Given that humanity has never recorded conclusive evidence of a tool using alien civilization, Dr. Honecker was understandably intrigued. Dr. Honecker and some of his colleagues fled Pala Station in a shuttle. It launched on a pre-programmed course to Katanga. Unfortunately, two creatures stowed aboard. They killed one, and you met the other, the mutated xenomorph he called Monica. The doctor was the only survivor. You are familiar with the xenomorph reproductive process? It was gestated within a woman named Monica. Dr. Honecker seems unwilling to discuss it further. There was discord between the science team and Wayland yutanis manager, Administrator Bellows. In particular, Mr. Bellows ordered the use of human convicts to breed xenomorphs. Dr. Honecker doubtless hoped we had taken his employers into custody to face charges. Should you wish to review, I will keep the information on file for you. Well, we found Honecker. Now we've got to get him safely back to the Endeavor. Lieutenant Ko will bring our dropship into one of the refinery hangars. Escort Honecker down to us for pickup. His safety's on you. Doc, take a sidearm. Fire team, Honecker don't have any VA suit. Get him to our dropship in one piece. You see this? That's, uh, a lot of water. Here they come!
glad you gave me that pistol. in the dust. No power to the door. Hit the backup generator, far into the room.
Accessing. I have the code for you. Let's bypass this. Dropship approach to the refinery. <sighs> no response from Hangar Delta's ALS. Diverting to Epsilon.
confirming. Keep moving, fire team. Door heads locked down. There's more working Joes, though. S. I would be pleased to assist. There we are. Sending you the door code. Hacking the door. Port station ready. Bypassing down. Listen. Shore party, we are down in Hangar Epsilon. Standing by for pickup. The Beltway. Home stretch, fire team. So, we're safe. Is that all of them? Wayland Yutani synths brought local animals up to uh, replenish the hive, then eggs back down for experiments. They bred Xenos. Come mierdas. I have no link to Pryfly. I can't run the launch sequence by remote. Depressurization when you are ready. When you hit that, every Xeno in the vents will pour out. Doc, you boarding? No. No, I want to help. Out here. Out. 
Alright, here we go. It's a big room. This will take time. Right on time. Here come the bots. Keep them off us, or call yourself home. Lights out.
I hate our squadron name. When I flew interceptors, the squadrons had decent names. Predators, gunslingers, cracked rooks is like, oh, I dropped my chess set. The UD-9C carries enough ordnance to take out a town, and it'll keep flying with half its ass blown off. But a condor's not going to survive turns and burns against a real interceptor. In Atmo, all it can do is go in one direction real fast. Your best defense against Op 4 air superiority is to punch the throttle to the firewall, crank the ECM, and kiss your ass goodbye. Zero G's marginally better. The RCT blocks are placed wider than the old Cheyennes and Mohawks. Maneuvers real tight. I bet I could fly this piece of crap through any shipwreck you want without nicking the paint. You scan the manifest near the Wayland ship? May I? It details a series of two-way flights. On trips from LV-895 to Katonga, creatures from the moon were the cargo. On returns, the items were cryogenic suspension pod, loaded. Live ovomorph sample, four. It is curious these pods are of uniform manufacture, not a field modification or expedient improvisation. They appear to be the result of an extended design process by experts in hypersleep technology. And they were designed for one specific cargo, xenomorph eggs. These devices were mass produced, not for palestation, but for general use. Wayland yutani might have many eggs in transit or storage across the frontier. Ah, Dr. Honoka's ID. May I have a copy of your scan? Corporate badges contain employee personnel files. Likely nothing we didn't already know, but it's best to be thorough. Uh, Timothy Honoka was born in New York City. Hmm, oh, interesting. Most born on Earth stay there. His family was reasonably well off, though he's paying rather exorbitant educational loans. He earned a doctorate in xenoanthropology from Wayland University, Mars campus. A controversial program. There have never been any alien cultures to study. Courses mix terrestrial archaeology with studies uh, in exoplanetary sciences. One must understand the dirt one digs in, I suppose. Ah, this is interesting. According to Wayland Utani's own files, Dr. Honokor is presently cataloging the contents of a warehouse on Alexandria. It's likely we're the only ones who know his true location. How much like what Hanukkah had to say. Wayland Yutani ran Katanga like a fucking ant farm. Used androids to bring up animals from the moon, left them on the refinery for the Xenos, took the eggs back down to the lab. There's a queen aboard Katanga, laying those eggs. SOP says, Phew, that's when you pull out a final insurance claim. We'll deal with Katanga later. Right now, Colonel Ship wants us down on LV-895. Hanukkah says some Wayland yutani people disappeared before his group evac. Could be there's other survivors looking for rescue. You could get the details on the surface conditions from Lieutenant Ko. She'll be flying you and Herrera down.
Heard the new track by Left Up Well? Love that band. What can I get? Okay. Regulations require me to state that the battalion fabricators may not be used to replicate any device and or system that has not been licensed for use by Colonial Marine Corps Logistics Command. And I definitely don't have an unmonitored fabricator built out of spare parts stashed in a hold somewhere. Because that would be wrong. 